Do you have a who will fly you around in a private jet with only your family in it? Do you have a who who can tell you how we follow the American dream? Well, I do. I know what hard work, education, and dedication you need to, because I have a who show His name is Larry Bosley, and he is my inspiration. He is not just a man who puts a little effort in life, because my My uncle Larry lived the American dream. I hope to be very successful in life just as he was. He is a very bright man, and he can do anything. You see, my uncle Larry believes in himself. I wish I had confidence to believe in myself all the time. People in life try their hardest to cheat a lot of things, but usually it doesn't work. My uncle made it. He achieved a lot of life. He went way beyond his dream. Larry Bossidy has been a very successful athlete, businessman, father, husband, and grandfather. He used to be second in command for General Electric and CEO at Allied Signal and Well Corporation. I would love to be company CEO and would surely enjoy being second in command. He grew up in small town America, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, where I once lived. As a young boy, my uncle admired sports and was very Why do these people do what they do? Why do these people claim to be Christian? 
speaker, Kendall Miller. Thank you. 
Houston, the now command center, will still be operating after June 28, 2011, when the last shuttle, Atlantis, takes off. Houston might not be operating much. My hope is to convince the American people that we should fund NASA, and not only NASA's space shuttle program, NASA in general needs to be funded badly. The first time we went to Kennedy Space Center, they were planning all kinds of missions, including a mission to Mars and to the Moon. And now the space shuttle is not even going up into space anymore. Also, I'm questioning who was the event in the program if we have no other program in mind to take its place. If the government has another program in mind, shouldn't the government tell us that? Also, why are we going to let the Russians, who have beaten the space race, do our work? The second reason is that if we don't fund this program, we will lose so many good jobs. In a time of great need and terrible economy, what are we getting more jobs for people? The Florida government has also put a stop to all that money that the government is going to send to Florida to make the sun shine real. Do you know how many jobs that might be created? The space shuttle program and NASA would have saved all of those jobs. Also, what happened to American Pride? Recently, I had been writing about my American Pride, and it was mostly about how much I liked it when John and Henry started up the space program. Now it's coming to a complete halt. Now I'm sure taxes will go up if we continue to fund the program. And I'm sure Americans will say nothing has come out of NASA, and then the cons we have the pros. Well, that actually is not true, and I'm here to prove it with a little research. Have you ever used a computer mouse? Well, a person in the United States came up with the idea, and NASA helped to study and create a computer mouse. Also, do you have a refrigerator with a purifier, a water purifier, or one of those purifiers for your sink? Then NASA is definitely part of your life, because NASA is the one who came up with a water purifier. Do you have a smoke detector in your home? Well, if you do, NASA is definitely part of your life. So after I tell you all this, I hope that you'll help me and your fellow Americans to fund the space program. Thank you. 
Now he has nothing enough to have a pump underneath his skin which he injects the insulin into. 
all help by learning about the disease and donating time and money to the organizations that are devoted to finding a cure. I have had the chance to learn from my cousin Corey that diabetes doesn't have to prevent anyone from living a healthy, 